Good evening, YouTube. Tonight, we are trying to redeem our last party where we went to the Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween party. So now we're hitting up Mickey's Very Merry Christmas Party, which is a sold out event for this evening. And we are here to try some exclusive party food, check out the layovers on some of the rides, and see if we can meet some characters as well. So follow along with us and see what we can get into. So one thing we learned from Mickey's Not So Scary was to show up early. The next thing we did was also get some popcorn because that popcorn is kind of stale, I'm not going to lie. So you just put it in your popcorn bucket and just hold it and save it for the night. There are some rides that have overlays like the Jingle Cruise. We're going to knock that out, knock out some other rides, and then continue with the day. So that's one thing we learned. Get here early, four hours early. So I'm not playing around, four hours early. So again, this is four hours for the Christmas party or any other party that they have. Again, I highly recommend get some popcorn now and don't eat it. Wait till the festival or the parties or whatever at night, wait for that. So get the popcorn first and then save it for later. So our tip is if you have a daytime ticket or you're an ANO pass holder, come in earlier than the four o'clock time frame because we got here around 2.20, around a little after two, and you could already see the line kind of starting to form at the gates for those who are entering at four. We had annual passes, so we came in, we already got a snack in, um, just to get a few things done before the official party starts, just to save us some time later. Now, Jingle Cruise is running all day long. It's not exclusive to the party. So we're hopping on this now to get one of the overlay rides done before the party even starts, just to give us a little extra wiggle room once the party officially begins. allowed people in the park yet for the Christmas party and we've already gotten one ride done a holiday layover Jingle Cruise so great start I thought that was funny we went on it before with just the regular Jungle Cruise but the holiday little jokes are actually kind of cute I mean they're very punny <laughs> it is 356 currently and we've only been waiting here about 30 20 or 30 minutes so this line is much shorter than what the rest of them are. Perfect. Hi. Hello. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right, so we got into the park early before they started letting people into the park where we already got our wristbands and it's 
four o'clock now and we've already had our wristbands for two minutes or so. Once you're in the park, there's three locations around the park that you can actually stop and get your wristbands. One is in Fantasyland at, I believe it was Feel Our Magic. And then you can also go to Tomorrowland, which is across from Mick, um, the Monsters, Inc. Laugh Floor. And then we came to Adventureland right at Tortuga Tavern. They said it's a little less of a wait. We got here at about 3.30ish, maybe a little bit less. And the line was already starting, but it was quick, like four o'clock and we already came through. We each got our ornament. They give you an ornament for each ticket of the night and your little holiday guide. So that was a quick and easy distribution this time compared to the Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween. So it is officially six o'clock and now they are starting to close the park to daytime guests and it's only available now for the party guests, which they're now checking your bracelets. We got in line here in Storybook Circus to see the seven dwarves at about 5.30 or so. And there was already a short line, but nothing too crazy. So we are waiting for them to open the doors so we can finally see the seven doors. And in the meantime, we got in a couple rides and we got to ride Big Thunder, which is about a 30 minute wait, which I mean, that's about average for everyone trying to catch last minute rides. And then we went on Haunted Mansion and caught that before we actually started the party. So I wouldn't say that's too bad. We started off some rides, had a couple snacks, and now we're just waiting for a character meet and greet. All right, so it is 610 and we just updated the tip board to see any waits. And because the park is officially closed to daytime guests, it is not showing any wait time. It won't update now until seven o'clock when the party starts. Okay, so it is now 7.30. The party has officially started and we just got out of seeing the seven door. So yes, the line does take a little bit of time. However, we got our pictures. We got it done in the beginning of the party. And the line now is about a 70 minute wait to see the seven doors. And that is just as the party is starting. So now that we got that done, we're heading up to the front of the park and we are going to get some of our exclusive party food. So it's the line for popcorn. Okay, so we've been looking for this dessert that we heard sells out at this Christmas party. Little did we know, Main Street Bakery is Starbucks. So if you're looking for the letter to Santa treat, it's here inside Starbucks. I think it's a little way for them to get you in to come and get a coffee too. Here I am, I haven't been in the video for like the past 10 minutes you've been watching, I guess. I hate Starbucks. Uh, there, I just said it, I don't like Starbucks. So if this cake is manufactured in Starbucks, it's got a lot to, to hold up to, man. It looks like a Twinkie. And Aliyah brought up a good point. Why is the envelope on the outside, not on the inside? All right, so I'm curious. This is the one that caught, that caught my attention. So the, the shell isn't hard, it's firm. Okay. So it is a decadent dessert. Not really sweet, it kind of is refreshing. And I'm glad they gave us a small one. That's a good portion size because if you were to eat this, just one person, you would get sick of the flavor really fast. It's kind of rich, but it is really good. This is pretty good, so Starbucks, good job. I say three out of five. Now, I did like the decorations. I am a sucker for like cute decorations. It's one of those novelty type of desserts, so you definitely want to get it if you want themed stuff. Let's see how it tastes. I think using the word cake for this dessert is misleading. It's more like a mousse. It's just basically like a mousse dessert. But I agree with you, very decadent, very rich. But we always share desserts because we want to taste a little more. So if we each get one of these, it's way too much to waste. It's not cake. Maybe a, like a four out of five. I agree. Four out of five for that. This is the Thanksgiving turkey burger, only exclusive to make his very Merry Christmas. Look at that patty, it's a thick patty. I don't know how this is like Thanksgiving. All right, this is, it's good, but that patty, I feel like it's one of those like frozen burger patties, but frozen turkey patty. That's exactly what I'm getting, but it is not bad. The turkey patty is a little bit um, salty though. The cranberry sauce on top kind of offsets that. The bun's a little bit dry, but that's fine. I'm really not a picky eater, so. This is good. Um, four out of five. I guess it's a four out of five. Okay, so y'all don't come for me. 
For Thanksgiving, I'm the type of person I skip the cranberry sauce. I do like the stuffing, and this also does come with a cheese underneath the turkey patty to add a little more flavor. It's exactly what it sounds like, a turkey burger. I mean, if you normally get a turkey burger, the cranberry chutney will, does add a little bit of sweetness to it. I'm not getting any of the stuffing though. I'm gonna give this like a three, three out of five. I wouldn't come back in here to get it again. I definitely taste the cranberry and the turkey. They tasted some of the stuffing. It definitely tastes a lot like a Thanksgiving meal, but in a burger. Maybe a five out of five. You really like it? Okay, so this is the holiday pot roast melt. So it's like a grilled cheese with the pot roast in it. This is the one I was actually pretty excited about. Okay. So as you see, very hearty pot roast, two different types of cheese on each side. This is, this is pretty good. If the cheese was nice and gooey, that would tip it on to a you know, higher scale. But this is good. I actually might give it a five out of five, but maybe because I'm like starving right now. Here we go. This is the one that you've been uh, talking about. Again, holiday exclusive, only two Mickey's very Merry Christmas party. The pot roast is cooked to perfection. It's tender. There's like little pieces of fat, which I, which I prefer, I like. This is uh, really good. One more bite, I guess. Another bite with more pot roast. <laughs> five out of five for me. Yeah. Definitely, yes. Mm. It smells really good, for one. The buttery bread, grilled cheese-like, delicious. Five out of five. It's about to warm. I'm nervous. We've not ridden on this. Every time we've been here so far, and we've never ridden on the teacups. Oh, never. Here we go. Oh my goodness. Spin it, spin it. Oh yeah, spin it. Oh, oh my god. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh. 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 oh my man. God. <laughs> oh. Oh wow, big mistake. Oh, <laughs> we just ate. <laughs> oh my god. You don't have a license. Well, let's do it the fast and furious way. <laughs> Aliyah, keep it straight. <laughs> That's part of the spot, Marita. on the road, what are you doing? <laughs> so the two overlays were very, very fast, or the two rides with the overlays were very fast. One was a five minute wait, the other, or not even, it's, it posted five minutes, but it was like, 10 seconds and the other one was like 10 minute wait but it was actually like a minute. That ride is crazy. Like Aaliyah couldn't drive. I felt like I was one of those, um, what is it, backseat drivers? She doesn't know how to drive. I couldn't really hear like the overlay music I mean, because uh, the cars were really loud. Yeah, it's just like apple juice. Our first cookie and holiday drink of the night. <laughs> We've been so worried about the rides and there's everything else that we haven't had them. These are the frosted sugar cookies, which are kind of like the Lost House cookies that we really like, So, but they're very cold. I would recommend letting them come down to room temperature for later because, or like while you're waiting for the parade or something, because right now they're very cold. I wouldn't. I keep, confusing, I keep confusing this with Orlando and former because I'm about to start going to like all these different places trying to get some food. I'm like, wait a minute, no, 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 no. You gotta pay for the food here. So, damn, I'm preparing for one thing, doing another, it's bad.
what I'm saying, like this, it's full. Yeah. So, so far what I've noticed about this event that I didn't with Mickey's Not So Scary is that this one goes by really, really fast. It's probably because we've been keeping things like within a certain timeline. We have an itinerary that we've been, we've been kind of following. So I feel like that's just really making the day go by super fast. Like there's only two hours left at this event. So this is the Cranberry Orange Pineapple Punch, exclusive only to the party. And this is what you need after eating all that rich food. It is so light. That's five out of five, hands down. Tastes like something you would get at Volcano Bay. It is very light and super refreshing. I definitely taste pineapple and a bunch of other stuff. It smells like an agua fresca. I'm getting, like what you said, I'm getting a bunch of different mixes of flavors. Some that you would probably have at Volcano Bay. And I'm getting like this weird aftertaste, like, like smoke, yeah, citrusy smoke. That's what it has This is good. Is. Yeah, I give this a five out of five. This is really, this is good. Maybe a four. Okay. So traditionally, the tamal is not eaten with this or sour cream. And I don't ever remember having something like this with tamales. Firm, very firm. The chicken on it is like um, chicken you would get from a bag, like store-bought chicken. No, the rice and the beans. It doesn't taste authentic, but it's good. And then the sauce. I don't know what the sauce is. Like, huh. That sauce is a no for me, dog. Mm -mm. I don't know. The sauce is weird. Two out of five. It kind of tastes like corn on the outside of the shell. I mean, it's good. I guess it's three out of five. Okay, so I'm going to be honest with you. I'm not even hungry from that last meal that we had, but it's a holiday exclusive, so we have to at least try it. Now, first thought, I didn't know it came with beans and rice. I don't know if it's just me, but last time I heard of a tamale or tamal, it comes in like a corn husk. So, and like I said, it comes with the salsa and some sour cream on the side, as well as some like taco fixings. It just, it seems more like a smothered burrito. I'm gonna get a bite of the rice, the beans, and the tamale all together. That's just a smothered burrito, guys. But it's not a tamale. It's all right. I give it a two out of five. Now this, when we first saw it, was so cute. We had to get it. It's a little reindeer tart. I think they said it was like eggnog. Oh, that's pretty good. I think I'm tapped out on sweets, though. But the tart itself is super cold. I got a four out of five. Oh, it's not a hard shell. It's kind of soft, firm. You taste the eggnog. It is pretty rich. It's not sweet at all. I'm leaning towards the five with this one already. Oh, wow. Yeah, the tart's hard. It's like dark chocolate. This is a five out of five for me. Five out of five. You destroyed his face. It's like a mousse. A chocolate mousse. It goes a five out of five. Back to this thing. The more I'm eating it, I'm trying to eat it, but it's really not good. Um, a two, two out of five went down to one out of five. There's like cheese inside, like macho cheese inside. The texture around it is not a tamal at all. The outer shell is okay. Everything else is like, uh. Yeah, this gets a one out of five for me. So we just saw um, Five Nights at Freddy's. <laughs> no, um, it's like plastic or something in my mouth, and I think that's from the tamal thing that I just had. So we finished all the holiday exclusive food and now we finally got a spot here on Main Street for what little bit we can get of the fireworks and the end of the last showing of the parade tonight. But time for fit check. So we found these shirts actually at Target, which I mean, Marvel is now owned by Disney. So technically it is Disney holiday. And who loves a good gingerbread? So I mean, win-win. 
And then of course some comfortable leggings and Crocs because Florida means Florida weather. It's been a chance of rain off and on all day today. We've learned our lesson that if you come and not prepare for rain, you're gonna go home with some soggy shoes. So don't do that. So Crocs or something that's easily to dry. <laughs> Today's fit check is a little bit kind of weak. I mean, we kind of didn't really prepare for this one. This was a last minute afterthought, but the Marvel gingerbread shirt, I mean, it's Christmas, right? Yeah. Uh, the Crocs because it's Florida, just in case it rains. Don't ignore the charms though. The charms are not, uh, are not Disney, just so ignore those. That's really it, that's today's fit check. Of course the watch, VIP, that's about it.
it and it, we're only in the very beginning of Main Street. It makes it so magical. I thought they did it after the parade. I did not know they did it after the fireworks. So that was actually a pleasant surprise for me at least. Yeah. I think it's so beautiful. Now everyone's leaving the park, but. You can see all the snow around you. It's just all around. He's not mad at her no more. <laughs> Oh, my God. 
knows how to do Dis uh, Christmas. Simple as that. That was such a beautiful parade. A lot of our favorite characters and the snow throughout the entire parade just made it amazing. I loved it. Definitely a must see. So the parade was pretty good. The parade was pretty long. You got us a really good seat by Main Street. So Main Street is the best spot to be. So just hang around there. You get a lot of snow. You get the tail end of the show. And you're right by the exit if you choose to leave afterwards. If not, you can just cross right over and you can do whatever else. And it was full of different characters, a good vibe, good energy. I like to pray. This was pretty good, solid. So it's the end of the night. The park is closed. It's a little after midnight. You simply cannot do everything in one night. I was just saying how from four to seven, it feels like, you know, everything was kind of going at a slow pace, but once seven o'clock hit, that party flew by. I think we did really well on planning this go around where we got a little bit of everything done. We got a few cookies. I think we got three or four out of, I think there's five cookie stations available. We got a few of the overlays and we did the parade and fireworks and we got to eat a, quite a bit of the holiday exclusive food. If you plan correctly, there is a way to get a little bit of everything done, just simply not everything. We missed out on Space Mountain and the Monsters Inc. overlay, but I think everything we did, it was perfect. This event full on surpasses Mickey's Not So Scary. Like I said, I feel like Mickey's Not So Scary, the reason we had a negative experience was because we didn't plan. We truly mapped out what we wanted. We mapped out the food we wanted, the rides we wanted, and the shows we wanted by the time that we wanted them. And we miraculously made every single thing in our itinerary fit. I give this event a five out of five. Uh, oh, um, five out of five. And my back hurts. So this to me is not a private event. It feels like it's still like a normal day at the park. Everything is packed. You can't walk here, you can't walk there. Lines to everything, except for the rides, which is a plus, but still, it feels like a normal day at the park. I think I'm gonna have to break this tie of five star, five star. I'm gonna give it a four out of five. It doesn't get a five out of five for me. Many factors, but it was good, but it's not, it didn't wow me. Four out of five. All right, guys, thank you guys so much for following along our adventure to Mickey's Very Merry Christmas Party. I really enjoyed it. I think it really made up for our experience at the very, or Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween party. The rain held out. I'm starting to feel some sprinkles now, but it held out all night, so we were able to see the parade this time. Mm -hmm. We didn't get rained out. We got to enjoy so many rides that we didn't expect. I believe if you truly sit down and plan what you want to do, your main priorities, you can make this an amazing night. Let us know down in the comments if you've been here and your experience. We definitely want to know what you do, your favorite food and your not so favorite food here. Thank you guys so much for following along. Bye. Bye. Have a creepy crawly Christmas. Happy holidays.